Here we see a top view of the chair and the newly created top edge that resulted from the trim command. This edge will be, create, will be connected to this seat curve that lies on the mirror plane. When this is done, it will form the concave front leg area, this tightly curved front edge rollover, and the seat pan. As you can see, three separate surfaces were used. A four-sided boundary to form this gently curved area, a four-sided boundary to form this very curvy area, and finally a three-sided fill to form the, the seat pan. Together, these three surfaces can be thought of as a concave ribbon which has been bent through an S shape. Any cross section that we take along this ribbon should look like a simple concave curve. Here we see as we pass through the seat pan we retain conca a concave shape, and then we get to the rollover, and again, this is still a concave shape through here. If we take cross sections through this zone, and drag this up, again we see that this always remains as a concave shape as I swept it through this zone. The simplest way for me to create these three surfaces is to add a plane in this area here where this curve goes from being very flat to very curvy. Another plane in this area here where again it goes from being very curvy to the seat pan. Then on this plane in this area here we'll draw a concave curve and do the same here. This boundary will be created first this one second using equal curvature at this edge. And finally, a temporary extruded surface will be created here. A knit will occur. And the fill surface will use these three edges with curvature here and tangency here. If we do this without using any additional constraint surface uh, curves in this area or this area, we see we have a pretty good looking set of surfaces until we start rotating the model in this direction. We notice in this area a sort of a bulge which is indicated by this shadow. If I again look at the cross sections through this area, drag this line, I see in this case the curvature of the seat goes from being concave to convex, and this condition continues until I get to the point where the seat pan joins the rollover area. It's forced to be concave here because that's the shape of the guide curve, or rather the edge of the rollover surface that this has been added to. If we look at zebra stripes, we also notice that the rollover and the front have tangency but look like they are losing equal curvature even though equal curvature was specified along this edge. This suggests that we may need to add some additional constraint curves or guide curves in this area of the seat and possibly this area of the rollover. This will be done in part four of this video.